I'm Carolina from Momjo and today I'm gonna put my Rebel Come The Wave 3-in-1 microwave air fryer and oven to work. Earlier this year, my friend Liat unboxed the Combi Wave. She showed you through the features. Today I'm gonna try the air fryer feature. I'm gonna make two very simple recipes that are gonna put this incredible machine to the test. Number one, it's gonna be a vegan option. It's gonna be kale chips, because kale chips need the right set of circumstances to come out nice and crispy and flavorful. So we're gonna to try to see if the Combi Wave can actually air fry them to a perfect consistency. And then we're gonna try one of my kids' favorite meals, which is chicken nuggets. Um, I'm gonna make them from scratch, and we're gonna see how the Combi Wave performs when it comes to frying them up and getting them nice and gold and toasty. So if you're excited about this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to Momjo, remember to subscribe to our channel, press the button right now. We are two moms, Liat and I, trying to inspire you to live your very best life. And let's get on with this. We are gonna start with the kale chips. You know, the first thing you always do is to give it a good wash and the secret is to dry it really, really well because when the air fryer comes on, you don't wanna have too much moisture. That's gonna make for soggy kale chips. And who wants soggy kale chips? So, I already did that. Now I'm gonna start cutting them into bite-sized pieces. And what you do is you cut the stem off the middle because the stem is way too hard and too coarse for making it into chips. So, my favorite knife. So we're gonna remove the hard middle stem. We're gonna discard it. And we're gonna do that to a relief. You can do it with a knife, or you can also do it with your hands. That works too. I'm doing it with a knife because it looks more polished, but honestly, half the time I just rip the leaves right off the stem. This is definitely the most labor intensive part, but it's just a few minutes. What I really love about using my hands versus the knife for cutting the kale is that when you're doing it with your hands, you're automatically breaking it down into bite-sized pieces. This is a lot easier. It saves time and anything that saves time, I appreciate. Into the bowl it goes. Just making sure that I have the right size pieces. Okay, so now that I spent five minutes preparing and washing the kale, comes the super easy part. First thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna warm up the air fryer. That's gonna take about three minutes. And while I do that, I'm gonna season the kale. I am going as easy as it gets. I am using olive oil and salt. But of course, if you're feeling fancy, you can add in all kinds of seasonings. You can do curry, you can do Parmesan cheese, you can do a garlic flavor. The world is your oyster. But I wanna try it with the basic recipe today to see if the air fryer, the combi wave, is actually gonna be effective at getting it done. So the Combi Whip comes with some cool accessories included. One of them is this roasting pan that's non-stick and so easy to clean. For the air fryer function, I'm gonna have to use it with its handy little legs. So I'm gonna put it inside the oven. I'm gonna let the oven and the air fryer function heat up, and then I'm gonna put the kale in. So putting this in first, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna put the air fry function at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And here, see, it's telling me it's for 10 minutes. The cooking time is actually gonna be about um, five minutes. We're gonna press start. And it's gonna take three minutes to heat up. In the meantime, we are preparing the kale and we're gonna put in one tablespoon of olive oil. Nice little drizzle. And then we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of sea salt or kosher salt. Whatever you got that's nice and coarse and tasty. And now I'm just gonna make sure that that olive oil gets nice and integrated into the kale. Okay, 
moment of inspiration just struck, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic salt just to give it a little bit more of an, an edge. I said I would make it plain, but now I just got inspired and excited. I'm gonna give it a little shake. That's enough. Preheat is done. And the pan is super hot. I'm not gonna touch it, I got my glove. And I'm gonna pour the kale in. We're gonna have to do it in two batches. Because that's a lot of kale for one pan. Do you hear the sizzling? It's nice. Just gonna take out a bit because we want to make it on one single layer. Now this is going in. Four, five minutes. And I'm gonna shake it once in between just to make sure that the cooking is nice and even. So while we wait for the kale chips to bake, I am going to start on the chicken fingers. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take two bowls on one bowl we are going to put two teaspoons of olive oil. One, and two. And in the other bowl, we are going to put six tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Now we're going to do two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Ooh. Don't need to be that exact, it's fine. And lastly, we're gonna do two tablespoons of panko, which is a type of breadcrumb, but it's Japanese, and it's thicker run, so it feels super, super crunchy. Now we're gonna give things a bit of a mix. Let's check out those pups. Nice and crispy. Just the way we like them. So for the chicken fingers, I have two large chicken breasts cut up into chunks, into little pieces. And we're gonna take them out for a swim. But before that, we are gonna put some salt and pepper for seasoning. A little bit of salt and pepper. Crunch, crunch, crunch. And now that they're nice and seasoned, we're gonna drop a few at a time in the olive oil. And after the little olive oil bath, we're putting them in the mixture. It's gonna be so tasty. So we're heating up the air fryer one more time for the chicken nuggets. This time, according to the recipe that I found, they're supposed to go in for eight minutes. So we are gonna check at the eight minute mark and see how they're doing. Now that the pan is hot, I'm gonna put the chicken breast on it. Nice and evenly spaced out. Just fasting the last few ones. What oh, delicious. Okay. Boom. Hi guys, are you ready? And just to give it a bit of a push, we're gonna use some, whoops, some olive oil spray, just to get it to toast a little easier. A little spritz. And we're gonna get it in there for eight minutes, see what happens. Okay, my girl, are you ready for the taste test? Yes. Right, so we got the kale and the chicken nuggets. One thing I definitely have to say is that I think we're gonna be happy with the result. We're gonna try it now, but we did have to double cooking time. So we found two recipes online that we loved and we made them. This one called for five minutes in the air fryer. In the Breville Combi way, we had to do it in 10 minutes. Same with the chicken, it said eight minutes, it was closer to 15 minutes. But one thing I gotta say is, if you're looking just for an air fryer, then this might not be the best fit. If you're looking for a combination, something that's gonna function as a microwave, function as an air fryer, and do the job of an oven, then it's probably a good idea. It takes a little longer, so what? It gets the job done, and we're gonna see if it gets it done right. So let's try the kale, kale chips first. Go, okay. take one. That's four. I'm gonna take another one. You already saw me try them, but I can't get enough of them. 
Mm. Oh. Wow, this is yeah. good. Wow. The seasoning is parfait. Are they crunchy? Yeah, they are. Yeah. One more. I don't mm. want another one. No more. I'll have it later. Hmm. Okay. Now, now this is important because meat is harder to do than veggies, and we want to make sure that the chicken is cooked thoroughly and that it is crunchy. So. Are you gonna have it on its own or are you gonna have ketchup or mayo with it? I think maybe I can get a little squirt of ketchup. A little Mommy. squirt of ketchup. Okay, I'll take this one. Mommy does what baby says. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're taking a big piece. Yes. Here, indeed. do a dip. Yeah. I'm gonna try one too. Uh, very impressed. I think it's a great function and we use it honestly almost every day with veggies and with meat as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the Breville Combi Waves um, air frying or any other function, leave them in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to Momjo. We put out videos every week and we hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah. Thank you for joining me, babe. You're welcome. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.